and welcome back to another video today <coughs> yes hello Lily today we'll be looking at the storage drawers add-on uh, now I don't know if it's the same people but there's also a storage drawers uh, uh, mod for Java edition so I'm really interested to look into this and see how it all works yes hello I, mean, I don't know much about the storage drawers from the Java edition all I know is that I was in uh, the two of the core mod pack because Duncan made one put his pickaxe in there, I think it was his pickaxe in there and then he couldn't get it back out or was it his... no I think it was his pickaxe yeah it was his pickaxe was not it? Yeah. Mm. 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 He's adorable mm. Right, I gotta stop for scene now. I gotta get on with the review. People want to know how if this adds on's any good. Then can I just push it? Can I just have a video of me fussing you for uh, like tw 30 minutes to an hour? Usually, these reviews take. Depends on how long. <laughs> anyway, FTB presents storage drawers. Welcome to Storage Drawers. Unleash a new way to organize items and enhance your builds. Crafting eight uh, wooden planks around the chest. Uh, well, uh, craft storage drawers with reeds. Just combine a chest uh, with your uh, choice of material. Oh, choice of material. Hold on. So you can use planks for various wood types. You can use wool for various wool colors. You can use Andesterite, Blackstone, Cobblestone, Copper, Deep Slate, Diorite, Endstone, Granite, Never Brick, Prismarine, Pear Pear, Stone, and Stone Brick. Um, does that have different cherry? Does that have different woods as well? Hold on. Uh, give at P Cherry Plant. I'm, I always forget. It's not a space. It's. Cherry planks eight. Give at the chest. I'm just gonna give myself sixty-four chests, so we can have a look at a bunch of these. Uh, turn that to craftable. Oh yeah, cherry draw. Ah. So, oh yeah, so there's like um, andesite and diorite. Oh, uh, where's my stone variant? Well, this one has andesterite, so let's get some. Uh, let's get eight andesterite. Thirty-two, sixteen, eight, and some granite. Ah! Lily, and some diorite. Now, yeah, we can make. And the straight to draw, but can we make it in the polished? Can we make polished draw? Oh no, you can't. Okay, so you can't make the polished variant, which is a bit disappointing. It would be nice if you could make the polished variant. I don't think the polished variants would look as nice. Would have the same texture as my polished. Uh, there is because that's a custom texture pack. Oh yeah, um, oh, and you can just make them make stone drawers as well. So you can make diorite, andesite, granite. Let's get some stone, and we'll make a stone drawer. You can make a stone drawer. Holds 32 stacks per draw. How much? How many does a chest hold? So 9, 18, 27, 36. So 36. So it's less. 9, 18, 27, 30. So it's less than a double chest, but more than a single chest. I'm not going to craft all of them, but here's. Uh, let's show these off. And they have health bars because they're entities. Uh, hold on, let me go into game mode one. 
and I'll get the book for the health bars with uh, essentials damage indicators. Uh, customize uh, health bars uh, when damaged. There we go. And when you hover over them, it does still say 20 out of 20 because let's not can change that. But it's fine. <laughs> so uh, we've practiced them. Usage: There are no traditional slots, uh, slot, slotted inventory with the uh, containers. Clicking on uh, one of the uh, drawers with uh, the uh, front that uh, will interact with that drawer. Right click sl slash interact and set the current in hand item stack. So you uh, let's just grab a stack of cobblestone from the top here. Also, I can turn this off. So you like right click, and it will hold um, that many stacks of that one item. You left click, and you can take one out at a time. By the looks of it, by shift left click, it takes all of them. Out, uh, take I think it'll be like one stack. Oh, and it even says how many there's in there in there's in there if you. I think the uh, help bar, oh no, wrong one, wrong book, the, hold on, damage indicators, customize, font, uh, off, no, customize, on head, health bar, style, yeah, can't really, oh wait, on this, none? No. Yeah, so health bars doesn't really... Oh wait. None. Submit. No, health bars doesn't... Oh wait, yeah. They've got... They're gone now. So... Ah, it only shows up when you're like adding or subs subtracting into it. Okay. Uh, sneak and right click... Uh, uh, interact and search all items of the same type from your inventory up to two. So if I give at p cobble stone two hundred, I shift right click. Yeah, it put all it put all that cobblestone in there. Uh, left click punch remove single item from the drawer. Left sneak and left click punch remove whole stack. So, yeah, so if I. Oh, that's one stack. Uh, don't be afraid to stack them up. Experiment with different. Hold on, I wanna test something real quick. So, if I just. Uh, how do I remove. Oh, also, can it? Yeah, so can it? Uh, I guess it can't stock. Uh, st yeah, I can't. Guess I can't do non-stackable items like leggings. Yeah, that's why. Uh, but I want to remove. How do I remove it? Oh, let's keep reading. I'll test that later then. Uh, shift right click. Uh, second up, uh, then there's the draw or draw controller. Level up your organization. The draw controller takes storage to the next level. So that's five bits of stone. Five stone. Two pistons, an iron ingot, and a chest. Iron ingot. Two pistons and a chest. I already have chest on me. Draw controller. Oh.
Uh, draw controller usage effortlessly. Uh, inventory uh, effortless inventory sorting. Right click the draw controller to instantly uh, distribute all your held items into the appropriate drawers within an 8 block radius. But remember, for the uh, magic to which Rick, each drawer needs to be have uh, needs to already have at least one item inside to access that category. So I right click. So say I have, uh, you know, sixty-four cobblestone on me. I right click with that, and it'll automatically put that in there. So so you can have like all these be different things, and you just right click this. Uh, uh, and it'll give you those things. So if I get a stack of kelp real quick and a stack of bamboo and say a stack of pumpkins and a stack of melons so let me just Boom, boom, melon, pumpkins, boom, boom, now right click this, yep, yeah, automatically put them in, all in there, that is really handy if you do, for just like dropping off, right clicking you drop off all your items into these different little containers, it automatically does it, um, now it said it had a block radius of eight, yeah, eight blocks radius. So I'm guessing that's eight blocks in every direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this direction, eight in this direction, eight up, eight down. So you would be best like having this in the center of your storage, and then just like having and um, having them like in a big block, eight, you know, eight. To, to the left, eight to the right, eight above, eight down, and then fill that in. Now I'll have to do a bit of testing with this a little bit later uh, to make sure I am right, and that, that I'll show that off later because um, it's not going to be particularly interesting me watching interesting watching me do that. Uh, storage them as well. Storage drawers are great for bulk storage. There are a few exceptions. Items that can only stack to one, like armor, tools, weapons, won't fit in these drawers. Which, my opinion on that is mixed. It can't, it does make sense, but I kind of feel like it wouldn't be super OP if they could stack, uh, non -stack if they could sort non-stackable items. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, and I also want to see if you can hop her into these. Um... Uh, breaking safely. Uh, on the light chest, you can't just break a storage drawer with anything in it. Uh, to avoid losing items, make sure the drawer is uh, completely empty first. You can uh, break it from the top or sides. Okay, so let's take all of them out there so we can break it from the top or sides like this. Yep. So let's get a hopper real quick. Uh, that's not where the hoppers are kept. Hoppers are kept in here. So I want to see, can I hopper in and out of this? So, hopper there, storage drawer there, uh, hopper to the top, I suppose. And then we put a melon in there. Then we put those melons in there. Right, so they won't hopper into the top. Will they hopper into the... Yep, no, it just did that. And I can't, yeah. Can't, so you can't hop her into it. Um, unless maybe you can hop her into this. And, uh, uh, oh, right. Boom. Uh, okay, I'm breaking from size, has to be the top, I suppose. And I had to put it right there, didn't I? Alright, so say, put that there. Melon there. Melons in there. Nope. 
Okay, so I did. Yeah, so I have a. I now officially have a complaint. You can't pop it into it like at all. Now, I kind of get why you wouldn't want them to want to, the player to just be able to hop her straight into the uh, into the storage drawer itself. But not being able to hop her into the storage controller, I think, is definitely a big downside because it makes this a lot more restrictive in how you can sort things. So basically, what you would have to do if you wanted this to be your main storage system, like so, like here, I have a like big, um, a big like redstone thing coming out of the back here to sort all my items now. I, what I can do is, uh, I can just like have the hot items like, uh, what I have here is like, oh there's a zombie over there, yeah, anyway, what I have here, uh, after I scratch my news, uh, that's very itchy, ah, is I have a water stream coming from my wool farm, my iron golem farm, and my sugar cane farm going all the way down here, and then coming down here into this hopper, uh, these hoppers down here on this hopper minecart picks uh, stuff up when it gets overloaded. Um, and helps distribute them to the other hoppers. Um, and then into this chest and then the, the uh, it'll get all sorted out. Now you can't really do that with this. Now I would really like it if uh, you could like hop her into the back of this and like items that come in would... Uh, be sorted out into the is it, uh, into the storage drawers. So I think that I think that is fair because not only do you have to craft the storage drawers, which are more expensive than a regular chest, uh, and but do store a little bit more, but you also have to craft this, which is a fair bit more expensive with it being from with it being like a chest, iron pistons, two pistons, and stone. I think it. I think that would be fair. I don't know if that. So I think that might be possible. I don't know. It might just be a hard coded limit because uh, add on creators can't just do anything. There are some limits to them. So if they can do that, I would like to see it to be an update so you can do that. To, uh, because otherwise, uh, if like I didn't have this and I used this instead, um, what I'd have to do is I'd have to like have all the items come into like this chest, and then every so often I'd have to like empty out this chest. And like have, and then just like uh, put them into there, which would be, which isn't too bad, but it is just a mild inconvenience. And I don't feel like it would be too OP if you could just have them automatically uh, sorted into there. Um, because not everybody, you know, is like good at redstone like me, and that they can uh, build a one of these. It's not super complicated, it's basically just like one slice, but you know, some people, you know, I think it wouldn't be too OP and it would basically save people a bunch of time messing about with redstone. But yeah, uh, credits and uh, yeah. Okay, now I did see, I think I saw. And what I want to test out too is if I get two of the same type. So let's get another stone one. So let's get eight stone. Uh, let's put the hoppers back. And let's make a. Stone draw. I put these two now so they don't fuse when put next to each other. So I was going to say, I could have sworn that when I was looking at the thumbnail for it, it did show like a double storage draw. Um. Hmm. Storage. And I 
let's just draw. Draw. There you, uh, you have stone, brick, blue wall, end stone, wall, oak, tough wall, bah, bah, bah. You have all these different walls. There are large walls, which is really cool. Uh, and it does mean that you now basically have um, different wood types of chest, essentially. But there's no way to upgrade them past 32 by the looks of it, which is uh, um, a little bit annoying. Well, ultimately, there's nothing stopping you from just like having two of the. So, you know, what happens if I have two of these? I set both of them to pumpkin. So, yeah, they both have one pumpkin. I right click that, 63. So, I guess if I. What I do if I get a bunch of these melons? And then I right click. So, yeah, that's one. 1,343. I don't have enough melons to overload it. I think. Because, yeah, that's 1,343. Wait, yeah, 32. It says 32 stacks. So, 32 times 64. That is 2,000 items. So, hold on. Instead of pumpkins... Let's do iron blocks. I have way more iron blocks. Uh, iron blocks are in here. Also, the cool thing is that it shows you what's um, in it on the outside of it, so you don't have to go looking around the death for everything. Let me put them in there. Them in there, 64. And then I right click, so yeah. Uh, 1,343, 63. So let me just. Boom. That's 1,407 blocks. I've still not maxed it out! Right, there's probably even more iron blocks around here. Yep, iron block, iron block, iron blocks. Blocks of iron. I think that might be all of them. There's some iron ingots there. Oh, there's some more blocks of iron here. Okay, that's 1,630. Yeah, I'm still not even maxed out, so... I must have made a mistake. 32 stacks. Yeah, it definitely said 32 stacks, and that's... 9 stacks per row, so... 9 18... 27... 36... Yeah. Well, I didn't take yeah, I didn't take all the iron blocks out of here. So let's just put them in there. Two thousand forty-eight. So yeah, I think that's maxed out now. Yeah, two thousand forty-eight. So if I let ah yeah, so eight hundred and sixty-three. So you can just have two next to each other. So you can have you can have multiple next to each other. But if I Yeah, if I take all these out of here. Oh there's four on the floor now. Yeah, so it's not that's not gonna refill that one, so Yeah, I mean uh it does make it a bit messy with that. But so you couldn't have it like I have it here, so you can have like Two of them there and access both of them from that, which is... I don't know if they could make it so that they'd like share the blocks between them. So if there's one next to another and like uh, one starts losing blocks, the other one can like automatically put blocks into the one next to it. Or if they could do something like that. 
But yeah, this is definitely a cool add-on, and I can definitely see room for it to grow in the future. And I would really actually... God, if... Like, this came... This is a bit annoying, because this came out after my top 10 uh, add-ons from Minecraft Bedrock. And I would actually probably put this in the top 10 list now. I don't know exactly where, but I would definitely put this in my top 10 add-ons for, like, survive... You know... For my, I'm, and I mainly focus on survival when doing these reviews and when I was doing the top 10 lists. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely in the top 10 for like survival. Um, but yeah, really cool add-on. Highly, I would definitely recommend it and I can see room for it to grow. Um, so yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye I almost forgot to do this, but I didn't... Um, so, I did a bit of testing in the other world, and also, quick thing, you, you just need to hover them to see the item number. Probably just my world being buggy. It's nothing unusual, you should have seen the uh, Tinker's Construct uh, review, which, if you haven't yet, go watch it, because it took me ages to do, and it was very buggy, but it's not... But yeah, again, for some reason, that world's just broke. So, it's not a square, it's more of a circle with these two here. The like points that uh, stick out there. So you go eight blocks out from uh, the center there. Then you go one block in and three blocks there. Then uh, two blocks to meet in the center. And now I can pick out. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, get rid of the others because I did. Uh, I did initially do a big cube of glass, but uh, uh, that didn't work. So I uh, was basically just like trial and erroring my way to get this shape. So this is the biggest you can get from one single, not the biggest, but from one draw control. This is far out you can go. So you, yeah, and you can basically like copy this uh, three times over. Um, but let's see, so that's, um, let's let's quickly count how many draws you can have here. So that's, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times three. So, get my calculator out, 7, 8, 3, that's 21 so far, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, so plus 10, oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6 times 2, that's 12, Plus 12, and we're times by 12, so that's 33. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mm -hmm. Plus 8, so that's 41. Times that by 4, that's 164. Well, hold on, we still got these lines to do. I didn't add them in because if I did added them in, then I would be multiplying these by four as well, which would increase the value, uh, the amount. So that's one, two, well, that's eight times two, that's 16. 16 times two is 32. So we add 32 onto there, plus 32. So each controller can have 196 draws uh, uh, connected to it, basically. And uh, how many... Uh, so that's 32 stacks. So... So... Fit control C. 32 times 64 times that by 196. That's... 401,408 items uh, items that can be uh, stored in one with one of these. Which, yeah, that's a lot of items. Um, the only problem is, ha uh, if I go down here, you can... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go into game mode survival because... Game mode zero because... Uh, being creative extends your reach by one. We can only reach uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks up. 
So you're going to need a way to like access each one. But that could easily be done by just like... Um, getting some like... Uh, getting some logs. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Boom. And then just like building a platform out here, like this. You can probably make it look a lot better than me, but you, then you can just like access all these. And then you probably need like at least one more to get access to all of them. But yeah. Pretty cool in my opinion. Um, And it's actually super flat friendly for the most part, except for like... Well, no, even that, because you can... Oh, no, you can't get stone. So you can't get the, uh, draw controller. Because you can't get co... You, well, you can't get cobblestone to make stone, because you can't get lava in, in regular flat on bed pocket edition, unless you create the world in a, a console world, then port it up to... Uh, then transfer it over to the uh, bedrock edition. But, yeah, but it's still, you can get the... All the drawers, because you just surround a chest with uh, planks, so you can get the drawers. So yeah, pretty cool add-on. Um, would definitely on my um, how you know highly recommend for survival players. Um, so again, remember you can fill this whole part in and then you know surround it with them like that. But yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you would, what you like about it, what you would change about the side on, um, because there's obviously like things I've not thought of. But yeah, uh, hope you guys all did enjoy. Hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye.